Ari Fold was stabbed to death at the entrance of a supermarket that was a symbol of coexistence between Jews and Arabs. Ari, a proud Jew, left after him a wife and four kids. The terrorist who stabbed him was a 17-year-old teenager, 17 years old. Instead of going to class, he went out to kill a Jew. We have been saying it for years. The Palestinians are poisoning the minds of their own children. Their youth are raised on hatred. The Jews are portrayed as the devil, the root of all evil, and that to die while taking a Jew's life is a great honor. 23rd of November 2015, a 16-year-old Palestinian stabbed to death 18-year-old Ziv Mizrahi in a gas station. Two months later, a 15-year-old Arab kid entered the house of Daphna Meir, slaughtering her in front of her children. A week after Daphna's death, Shlomit Kriegman was shopping at the grocery when 17-year-old Hussein Abu Ghosh left her bleeding to death. 30th of June 2016, while sleeping in her bed, 13-year-old Halel Yafariel was stabbed numerous times by a 17-year-old Palestinian terrorist. A few months later, Yosef, Chaya, and Elad Salomon, three family members, were eating their Shabbat meal together when a 19-year-old Palestinian infiltrated their house, leaving them dead. And the list goes on and on. The Palestinian Authority's response to these murders was, quote, death as a murder is the path to excellence. And greatness. Yeah, of course, blame Israel for everything, right? 